Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Christy Kijarina. It's Thursday, November 16th. In Squiz Kids today, an imminent Icelandic eruption. Bayern Munich signs Aussie teen. Swift scammers are at it again. And it's a bluey fest. That's what's making news, kid style. The lowdown. Things are hotting up over in Iceland. Not above the surface, but way down deep under the earth. Reykjavik, which is Iceland's capital, and surrounding regions have been experiencing an increase in earthquake activity. Icelanders are no strangers to earthquakes, living above the meeting of two major tectonic plates, but things underground seem to be ramping up. It turns out that a 15-kilometre river of fiery magma, which is a liquid rock that can get up to temperatures of 1,300 degrees Celsius, is flowing beneath the surface. It runs right under the town of Grindjavik, which is being evacuated due to the risk of fire fountains and toxic gas. The magma is currently just one kilometre beneath the Earth's surface. But if it breaks through, it could be an almighty eruption. If you'd like to learn more about earthquakes and volcanoes, I've stuck a link in the episode notes to a shortcut we created on those very things. From air pollution to plastic pollution, nations, big companies and environmental advocates are coming together in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, this week to develop a legally binding international treaty to reduce plastic pollution on land and at sea. Kenya has one of the world's strictest bans on single-use plastics, so let's hope some companies and countries can look to their example. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Germany, the place that 17-year-old Nestory Irunpunda will soon be calling home. If you're a fan of A-League soccer, you will no doubt be aware of Nestory. The Tanzanian-born teen who started life in a refugee camp has just been sold by his team, Adelaide United, for a record-breaking $5.5 million to Bayern Munich, who are currently dominating in the UEFA Champions League in Europe. Nestory has scored nine goals in just 38 games for Adelaide United, which is a record for a player under 20 years of age. He'll finish off this season in Australia, but he says that his transfer to the world's best team is a dream come true. Squiz Kids salutes you, Nestory Irankunda. Pop Culture Corner. Hands up if you love Bluey. I can't actually see you, but I'm betting there are a whole lot of hands in the air. And they don't just belong to the kids. Am I right? Bluey has come to be a true blue family favourite in Aussie lounge rooms and across the globe. That's why we're so excited that this weekend, the ABC, home to Bluey, are hosting Bluey Fest. From 6am Australian Eastern Daylight Time, you can settle in for a countdown of the 100 top episodes of everyone's favourite healer family. For real life. And if you make it all the way through to 7.20pm, you can find out which Bluey episode is Australia's favourite. And that's not all. Tomorrow, the first ever Bluey video game is being launched. So if you love a magical xylophone or a good old game of Keepy Uppy, you can get online and check it out. There are links galore to all things Bluey in your episode notes. Nice work, reader. Thanks, Janet. News hounds. 
every Thursday, Squizzy the Newshound sticks his snout into Squiz Kids HQ and reports back on fishy things he's sniffed out on the internet. And today, his snout is all a twitchy because he's discovered some fake news that relates to Squizzy's favourite singer, Taylor Swift. That's right, Squizzy is a Swifty. But let's not get him started. <laughs> You'd have to have been living under a rock not to know that Tay-Tay has been seen out and about with American football star Travis Kelsey. Well, one YouTube celebrity gossip channel has posted a video claiming to show Swift's former boyfriend, Joe Olwyn, reacting furiously to Tay-Tay's new romance. The video, or posts shared about it, have been viewed more than 900,000 times. And it'll come as no surprise to you qualified news hounds that when you start digging, as Squizzy did, there's no evidence of any truth to the video. It's all been made up by splicing together lots of different videos to make it seem like Tay-Tay's ex is upset when there's no evidence at all that he is. It's another reason to always do as Squizzy says and to stop, think and check before believing everything we see, read or hear on the internet. Teachers, if you haven't yet signed up to Newshounds, get on board. There are some great end of year activities you can take your class through to help them stop, think and check too. You can find it all at squizkids.com.au. Thanks, Squizzy. You've done it again. <laughs> Announcing the creation of Throw Us a Like Thursdays. Because shout outs are hotly contested on Squiz Kids, we're creating a special shout out segment every Thursday for listeners who give us a bit of love in return. And all you have to do to jump the shout out queue is give us some stars and tell everyone how much you love us on the Apple or Spotify podcasting app. Mention that you'd like a shout out and we'll oblige at the end of Thursday's podcasts because we like to give. Oh, and just a quick heads up that you can now find the podcast at YouTube. Our channel is simply Squiz Kids. See you there. Time for the Squiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. How long is the fiery river of magma that is flowing under Iceland? Congratulations if you said 15 kilometres. Question number two. Which German team has Aussie teen Nestory Irangunda been transferred to? That's right, it's Bayern Munich. Question number three. How many episodes of Bluey can you watch on the ABC this Sunday? If your parents let you, that is. Nice work if you said 100. Yeah! Shout out. It's November 16, Guinness World Records Day. A day to celebrate all the wild, weird and wonderful people who set world records. Or maybe try one for yourself. What record would you like to set? It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Toby from Ashmont, Kira from Point Cook, Emily from Cairns, Manaya from Forest Lake, Luca from Sydney, Zhu Ying from Epping, Haven from Wonturna. Riley from Deeping Heights, Harriet from Victor Harbour, Tori from Barrel, and Mamit from Goodna. A belated birthday shout out goes to Gabriella from Brookfield. Classroom shout outs today go to Class 4PB with Mrs. Koshin and Mrs. Patton at Pimble Ladies College in Sydney. Class 10P with Mrs. Phillips at Minleton Lutheran School. Class Aurelia 6 with Ms. Ashby at Anne Hammersley Primary School in Ellenbrook. Class 12D with Mrs. Dunkley and Miss B at St. John the Baptist Primary School in Kuwirup. Room 20 with Miss Brooks at Nicholson Avenue Primary School in Wyala. 
Class 1-2-S with Miss Sewell at Hearn Hill Primary School in Geelong. Class 6-J with Mr Johnson at St John the Baptist School in Freshwater and Class Solero 1 with Miss Eberhard at Rainella College in Adelaide. And because it's Throw Us A Like Thursday, some podcast listeners who've thrown us a like on Spotify or Apple Podcasts this week are Austin, who says Squiz Kids is the best podcast ever. Podfan23, who listens on his way to school and tries to beat his mum at the Squiz. Ian from Perth and Brenda, who's listening all the way over there in Phuket, Thailand. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you're after a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow with the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Squiz. Don't forget, if you like what we do, tell your friends or even better, chuck us a like or a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or YouTube. It's really important to help us grow and to continue to do what we do. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Over and out.